somebody trying to do the right thing and be the right person, be the right guy, and, you know, something like that happened. Tonight, a St. Louis family fights not only loss, but for justice as well. Brandon Scott was murdered while driving downtown in September. And tonight, one of his accused killers is on the lam and another out of jail. News 4's Caroline Hecker now on the quest to right the wrongs and close this dark chapter. The family of Brandon Scott says the 29-year-old worked hard to stay on the right track. He changed himself all the way around and it was... It was a wonderful thing, and, it, and I, I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Police say on September 6th, Scott was shot while driving on Washington Avenue, crashing his car on the arch grounds. His blue Dodge Charger riddled with bullets. Family members say it was a case of road rage after Scott accidentally turned the wrong way down a one-way street. And that's when the uproar was, you know, why are you going down the wrong street, et cetera, et cetera. And that's when their anger and their rage turned into we wanted, they're going to kill him. Police later arrested 35-year-old Mark Perry and a 16-year-old juvenile, both charged with first-degree murder. The sheer disregard for life irritates me. So having him to, to come to his demise on those stairs is just, it's unacceptable. Brandon Scott's life came to an end here just one of 195 people killed in the city of St. Louis just last year. And while arrests have been made in his case, his family says they feel the farthest thing from justice. That's because the 16 year old charged with his murder escaped from the juvenile justice center in November. The longer he's out, the more this can happen to someone else's family. Online court records show Mark Perry, the second murder suspect, was released from jail on GPS monitoring in December by a judge. That move made despite the circuit attorney's office arguing against the release. It's almost like it's a slap in the face because they're telling you to do the right thing via the justice system, but yet they will allow somebody to actually be at home for Christmas. Whereas if we have to go see Brandon, we have to go to a cemetery. Now with COVID delays, a suspect on the run and a suspect on house arrest, the family is pleading for accountability. In St. Louis, Caroline Hecker, News 4. We asked the city's court about that wanted juvenile. They confirm he is still missing and a search continues. Meantime, we've learned that jury trials in the city next week have been delayed due to rising COVID cases.